fucking record, actually. We'll run down the rosters in just a second. Alright, on the side of Neckbeard Gaming, we've got Crawfish Aesthetic, T Connors, Magnet Shock, and SFX from the sides of Misfits and Shitheads. It's got Proto, Goat, Bald, T Rapic Bow, and Captain. And three of those players are actually gonna be spotted out immediately by Neckbeard, Neckbeard Gaming. T Rapic. I'm taking a couple pot shots, nade damage just to Crawfish down to 48 damage. Or 48 health, I should say. There's a lot of aggression here by Misfits and Shitheads. M.A.S. Trying to take some shots through that door right there, but nothing's really going to line up. Rotation is in here for Neckbeard Gaming, as there are two players there. One up on Catwalk. Actually, make that a second as one rotates up from CT. Crawfish, though, going to get the first frag of the match. Takes out Captain. SFX going to pick up the second, taking out Goat. Ball's going to go down. Crawfish picking him up a triple kill in the round. It's all up to prods now. Or Proto. Does hear the player jumping up. Spots it out. Actually manages to get the headshot. That's going to be a little consolation kill as he takes out Magnet Shock. But uh, the two of these players spot it up. As they boost, they are very low health. So Proto could do some more damage right now. But I don't believe that could be communicated in any kind of way as he spots out another player. And actually make that a second as that player up on CT ramp shows himself. 20 seconds left in the round, he has the bomb in his hands and eh, can't pull off any miracles right now. Aesthetic is going to take him down. Neckbeard Gaming picking up the first round of the map. Looks like your standard buy. M4, a FAMAS, three UMPs in the hands of Neckbeard Gaming. Meanwhile, terrorist side has decided to force up, upgraded pistols, two tech nines, three P250s in armor. They're gonna push right through the smoke if they eat a bunch of nade damage. T Rapico picked up the first, but it's gonna be answered right back by Crawfish, who's picking up another triple kill. It's two in a row for him. Let's see if he can pick up that fourth like he did last round. It's gonna be Captain, last player alive for Team Misfits and Shitheads. Swings over, managed to get the frag on aesthetic, so not too bad. Picks himself up a UMP for his troubles. And on the back of that armor, it's... Uh, he could do some more damage right now. Spots out the second, actually gets it. Magnet Shock is going to go down. And Captain is going to rotate himself over to this A-bomb site. 1v2, it's not impossible. Has the grenade in his hands while he peeks, but does not get tagged down at all from Crawfish. Oh, sorry, that's T. Connors. Crawfish currently rotating. Has actually gone towards CT, but has doubled back right now. Smoke's going to come out from Captain. 55 seconds left in the round. He could actually slow play this and go back towards that B-bomb site. We'll see if Crawfish spots him rotating over, though. Has his M4. Perfect weapon for this position. Looks away at the wrong time. Does not spot the shoulder. Captain is going to peek right in wide and actually get the kill. Suddenly, this is completely doable. And the UFB runs out of bullets. And Teak Honors is going to answer right back with one of his own. Takes out Captain. Oh, suddenly that went from an impossible position to completely achievable. And just having too few bullets in the clip of the UMP is going to completely punish Captain. But you know what? A lot of damage done to the side of Neckbeard Gaming. So, uh, you know, one more round on the end of Glocks, or actually P250s in this case, and you could reinvest wisely and completely just take that economy of Neckbeard Gaming down. So, let's see if they can hit their shots. It's not a horrible position to be in on the second round. However, SFX is going to get the first frag with just the deagle in his hands. Aesthetic peeks in, chips down Goat, and spots out the rest of these players. The rotation should be coming in soon. Aesthetic gets a second kill for himself. Actually, it's the first of his own. He's going to be answered right back, though, by T-Rapic Bow. Trapic Bow? I'm calling it. Something like that. Two of these players are going to be pulling right back from mid, though. Looks like they might be thinking about doing some sort of rotation. Oh, they don't have any other information on these other two sites, though. Only those two players who are on mid. They do know that one is heavily tagged. Actually, super heavily tagged. They're going to take down Crawfish. It's going to make this a much more realistic situation, as it is 3v3 right now. 
Bald has picked himself up a UMP and uh, smartly going to reload it after seeing what happened to Captain in the previous round. However, SFX with this 13 HP is going to peek, spots the player, gets the kill. Deke Hunters is going to be on his back and gets the, the third one to follow that one up. Neckbeard Gaming keep three players alive going to the next round as they extend their lead 3-0. to zero. Misfits and shitheads. They're going to buy some AKs on the back of that though. Four of those and AWP in the side, in the hands of Captain. He's got just a beautiful little avatar there. Let's see what he can do with this. If he can spot any of these players. Grenade's going to come out. This, oh, manages to actually tag up SFX. Brilliantly lucky shot. Traffic bow. He's going to be up close. And he's going to back off after throwing that grenade in there. Rotate his way down into lower halls. Meanwhile, up on CAD, there are two players playing aggressive, and somehow Connor's managed to get a nade kill. Couldn't quite see what did the initial damage there. That could not have been a full 100 HP grenade. I think actually double stacked that. One from Magnet Shock, one from T Connors. Let's see what happens. Looks like one of these players is going to try and get aggressive. Aesthetic with only a 5-7 in his hands. He does actually have an M4. Or so that's the AWP. Just electing not to hold it this close. Crawfish is going to come down here to back him up as they have heard a couple of those players up on Catwalk. Moving around. Right now, Magnet Shock has dropped back as that smoke plumes from the terrorist side. He's going to hold this headshot angle and try and jump up here for any sort of information. All four players from Misfits and Shitheads up on Catwalk now. No real utility except for a couple flashes and smoke. Actually, Captain gets one as he's traded right back. Magnet Shock now has the information. He's going to throw up a flashbang. It's not going to slow them down too much, though, as a counter flash comes through. And those players over on the T sides, Misfits and Shitheads, are going to have a free bomb plant in their hands. And uh, Neckbeard Gaming gonna have to play for the retake right now. Proto might be the first point of contact as he hears this player running through. And Aesthetic, who had just switched to his pistol, is gonna take out Proto. Goat's there though, but in the wrong position as a uh, crawfish comes up CT ramp. And suddenly, it's no players left alive on Misfits and Shitheads. Captain went looking the wrong way. Goat looking the wrong way. And not a, the best of after plant positions is really all that that came down to it was 4v3 but you guys have the uh, situation in your hands if you could have just rotated the player over towards car maybe one by goose and one playing on catwalk but really just had two holding up close and one holding on bomb site and wasn't the best of position so they're gonna lose all those AKs in the AWP but four rounds lost bonus built up they're gonna get some uh, AKs in hand a decoy for shits and gigs, and a couple flashbangs. We'll see what they do with it. Looks like four, three of these players currently piled up close. Goat's gonna get the first frag. Deke Honors answers right back. Gets the second as well. Spots at the third player. Don't know if he saw the fourth as they run the corner. Gonna flash him, flashbang himself in. Gets another. That's three. Misses the final shot though. Proto's gonna take that down. So, 1v3, Proto. What can you do in this situation with nothing more than an AK-47 and some armor in your hands? The flank coming around as SFX goes through T-spawn. Crawfish holding close CT spawn. Spots of the player. Gets a quick little 3-tap. Going to put Proto down. Neckbeard Gaming 5-0 and oh in this half. Once again, double ADBP going to come out for Neckbeard Gaming. As T. Connor is holding that long side, looking absolutely strong after that 3k last round. Misfits and shitheads, they have invested ever so slightly in this three flashbangs, upgraded pistols across the board, and three armors, along with a couple helmets there. T. Connor's actually switched it up from holding long. He's on cat now, gets the first, gets the second. Crawfish gets one off screen. T. Connor's is not even backing up off this. Damage comes through from the grenade. T. Connor's picks up a triple kill. This guy is insane. Oh my god, let's take a look at that. Oh, that replay. It uh, did not quite work as I wished it would. Every so often I flub the replays. It happens. Anyways, into this. Shoulder is spotted. Trap... Trapic bow? Trap Kibo? His name's got me fooled. He's gonna get the opening frag, and Captain's gonna follow that up. Suddenly, huge man advantage in the hands of Misfits and Shitheads, but Teak Honors is holding long again, and you know what? 2v1, he doesn't care. He's gonna pick up that AWP, put them down, actually switches out to the AK, interestingly enough. 
Looks so confident with that AWP. I wouldn't put any other weapon in this man's hands. Oh, I see. t is actually holding far back. A little confused right there. Kill feed is misleading. Oh, SFX gets caught with a Molotov in his hands. Bald's going to punish that. Put Mana Bench back in their hands. Magnet Shock's going to trap Kibo. Suddenly it's going to be all up to Teak Hunters, but the way this guy's been playing, currently up on 12 kills on round 7. Spots up the first player, but Trap Kibo goes a little bit wide. The shot was missed, and it's going to be punished. Misfits and Shitheads pick up their first round. In the back of that, they only lost a handful of players, so they're going to reinvest right back into this. But Neckbeard Gaming, they've got money for days. Double AWP comes right back in. M4s as well. Let's see what they do with this T Connors. It's gonna hold right up close again, which is perfect. As there are players pummeling through this door, they're gonna hold back out of that flashbang, though. They don't want to get too aggressive. Just announce their presence and hold the door. Flashbangs being exchanged left and right here. Meanwhile, there is a player or two holding up close and cat. Actually, two of these players managed to get through on the back of those smoke or the flashbangs, but. They put themselves behind Blue Crate, and really they had nowhere to go after that. Ball's going to get a kill elsewhere. Connor's going to answer that right back. Crawfish gets one as well. Suddenly all up to Bald, 1v4. He does know where a couple of these players are for the time being. But can't really expect too much. Spots at the player on double doors. And uh, Crawfish is going to back up, or actually re-aggresses and gets put down for it. SFX, though. <sighs> comes in and cleans up on the damage done to Ball. Neckbeard Gaming right back in it. Puts themselves up 7-1. to one. Misfits and shitheads. Owning up their namesake right now. It's, things are looking a bit messy. And their aim's looking a bit shoddy. We'll see what they can do with these upgraded pistols. Goat picks himself up a deagle. Proto Trap Kibo. Picking up some Tech 9s and a Scout in the hands of Captain. Four of these players, though, going to be rushing up towards mid. Aesthetic actually pushed up into that smoke. He is going to retreat, though, as he hears all the players rush by and gets tagged up heaven through the smoke. Magnet shot, going to get the first kill of the round. Spots out the second, gets the frag. Couldn't quite put down Proto, but did a little bit of damage. It's going to allow SFX and Crawfish, Crawfish, that is, to push right back up. SFX gets a kill, and as they looked hopeful to actually do something there, two players left. Make that one as Crawfish gets another one. It's going to be all up to Captain. They had a decent positioning there, the terrorist side. But uh, frags just couldn't come in for misfits and shitheads. Captain seems to know this flank's going to happen, but his scope in is heard. And he's going to rush right in. He knows what's going on. He's going to put himself down quick as uh, Neckbeard Gaming going to pick up the round. Not looking like the most even of matches. Kind of a repeat of the last match we casted. But misfits and shitheads... They've got four AKs, they've got an AWP. Let's see if they can make any magic happen. Even with the man advantage last round. Puts a shot through the smoke. Or the grenade, that is. Not gonna hit anything. Three of these players over in Misfits and Shitheads. Gonna go up into tons. Captain tries to do another little shot through that smoke, but nothing's gonna happen. He's gonna take three damage for his troubles as that grenade rains in through long doors. Maltov's gonna come down, back off Trap Kibo. Oh, wow! <laughs> Captain actually just took one through the doors. Maybe even the side of that wall is only 22 damage was done to him. Just a random little pot shot there from Aesthetic, but manages to hit it regardless. And suddenly, things are going to slow down from both of these teams. As, uh... Oh my god! What the fuck just happened? Aesthetic picking up two, one through the doors... And God knows if he actually saw the other player. We'll see it on the replay, though. T. Connors, who was looking so strong earlier in the rounds. Nobody's been going his way until right now. He's going to put down Bald. Two players left alive against five of Neckbeard Gaming. Proto. He'll be the first to see one of these counter-terrorists, but they're going to throw down a Molotov and slow this down even more. SFX spots out a player, going to Molotov them off from the effort side. It's going to be pincering them in right now. Goat and Proto actually both pick themselves up a kill and make this bomb plant completely doable. Crawfish, though. He's up close. The rest of the rotation's coming up from Catwalk. Not a lot of utility to redo this retake with for Neckbeard Gaming, but also not a, lo a lot left by Misfits and Shithead to stall them off. 
Goat's gonna be flash banged out. Spots the player, gets the trade as FSX did take down Proto. But SFX picking up a second kill for himself in the round. They're gonna pick up the AWP or not. Okay, yeah. SFX is gonna pick that up as they go for the defuse. I think they're stalling this out because there should be a double AWP to salvage going into the next round. Neckbeard Gaming looking undefeatable right now. Double AWPs once again. Misfits and shitheads gonna have nothing in their hands except for this shitty little buy. Tech Nines, Deagles, and a P250. I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this as Neckbeard Gaming. Absolutely strong in a CT half and it's almost a direct repeat of the last map as I have said before. Had a heavy stack over there towards the B side, but they're going to rotate down to see halls. Connor's going to pick himself up another AWP kill. Why not? Aesthetic going to chip away at some damage. Trap Kibo taking, wow, 42 points of damage right there. And they are corralled down there on that mid-bomb site. Flash is going to come through. It's going to allow Goat and Proto to push through, but they didn't check the corner. Goat does get a kill. Flicks around and gets a second. And suddenly, uh, on another of these little shoddy buy rounds, they're going to have a chance. But SFX, he'll be having none of it. Actually, here's the footsteps of the player. Switches off the op onto the P2K. Gets the kill. And, uh, misfits and shitheads. They cannot get <laughs> an opening right now that they can actually capitalize off of and make work. So, Trap Kibo, you got 53 seconds in AWP. SFX... He's holding up there in tunnels. He's got very low health, but... Let's see, let's see. Trap Kibo going to pick up the bomb, smoke that off, and go for the plant. So, both these players do know that he's still there. Magnet Shock going to come up from CT spawn. Meanwhile, SFX, he'll be peeking early, waiting for his teammate to get around. And, uh, you know what? Trap Kibo jumps up there. Footsteps heard up. That's going to let SFX peek right in and get the kill. Easy peasy. And on the best opportunity they've had all half, Misfits and Shithead's going to lose this round. Neckbeard Gaming extend their winnings. 10 to 1. Looks like they do have enough to get fairly decent utility. 4 AKs and AWP. Let's see if Trap Kibo can make something happen through, as through this cross. Not going to try for any blank shots. Spots up the shoulder, but doesn't even hit. That is too bad for him, but meanwhile... Oh, come on, Auto Director, please work with me here. I am trying so desperately. I think that every time I tried to switch to a player there, it was the player who just died, and Crawfish got all three pushing through B-tons. I'm so sorry, guys. Relying on Auto Director and trying to switch right there just did not work out from him. But Crawfish already on a triple kill. Misfits and Shitheads, two players alive, and so little information to work off of. They only saw Crawfish right there. Meanwhile, Neckbeard Gaming can just assume that no one else is going to be up towards the B-bomb side. SFX had pushed through those halls, gets a kill. Trap Kibo answers it right back, but he's going to get flashed off. Gets the blind frag. That's as much as he could really hope for right there. And he knows the player is holding up close. And he's expecting a player up on Cat. While there is one there, I actually would have expected, uh, I think that's Crawfish, to rotate around and uh, try and get some sort of a long A flank. 45 seconds left in the round. AWP, one flashbang. It's not going to matter because Deke Honors is there. That strong AWP player for Neckbeard Gaming. 11 to 1. At this point, if I were Misfits and Shitheads, I would just be hoping Neckbeard Gaming... Just ends it quick and clean. Aesthetic, no, please. You have uh, maybe not plenty of money, but you could have you could have afforded a FAMAS. He's gonna pick himself up a P90 and get aggressive, I'm guessing. And no one is here to watch from the sides of Misfits and Shitheads. This is just lets Aesthetic in completely clean. Spots out a player with a knife in his hand. There you go. Gets a kill for it. I, I hate seeing that. I hate the P90 buy. Ah, Magnet Shock. Gonna be holding up close. Flashbang in by his teammate, spots out at least one player's shoulder, but there were three there. Teak Honors is going to get Goat on the aggression, and Aesthetic is pushed all the way up through to Espawn. Picked himself up the AK, gets the quick scoot tab, gets another kill. Spots out the third player, is going to go down as Proto. Answers right back, but 1v4, not a lot can be done. Sp actually manages to get the second as he's down to 8 HP. Player holding up close, though. Magnet Shock had to have heard that reload. 
But Proto is going to pick up the bomb and see what happens. Teak honors. He's there. He don't care. 12 to 1. Neckbeard Gaming extending their lead ever further. Going into round 14. AKs are going to be force bot up. And the rest of these players not going to be too happy. Very light utility. Three AKs, one scout, one tech nine. Ah. On the cross, FSFX does get tagged up. I think it's the first time that Trap Kibo has actually hit anything through that door. Smoke's going to come out early, as does a nade. Nobody up close enough to actually get tagged by that, though. SFX is going to boost himself up on this box while two more players split down towards mid. On the side of Misfits and shit, as they're going to get smoked off, though. Neckbeard Gaming, using this utility to slow down any sort of rush that Misfits and Shitheads could deal with. Slow playing this, they have a bit of utility to work with for maybe a split B push is what they're set up for, and with the utility they have in their hand. CT Smoke's gonna come out, Bald, first point of contact, actually, Pawflesh has not come out quick enough for Crawfish. Well, it's going to punish that. SFX throws in a Molotov, and players are going to push right through it. One jumped up on window a little bit late. They're going to answer that right back. Proto gets that kill on SFX. Goat actually gets tagged up, uh, maybe through the corner of the doors, maybe through the door itself. Down to 18 HP. They're going to get a bomb plant for this at least. Every little bit of money will help going into the next round. It's going to be a 3v4 retake for Neckbeard Gaming, but something tells me these guys are going to be competent. Aesthetic, though, only has the P90. No, why not reload? O only 27 bullets in the P90, why, why not reload? Molotov's gonna come out though, they picked it up off of one of the CT players, it's gonna slow down this retake. So they're gonna make something happen now, Captain gonna pick up the first, pick up the second as he pushes through mid, I had missed that, but Teak Honors gets the kill, but uh, Goat is gonna put him down clean, and Misfits and Shitheads, they suddenly have themselves a second round. Even if they don't win this one, you know what, you've got a slight bit more confidence. I'd hope. I don't know. It's hard looking for silver linings when you're down this much. But off that bomb plant and only a handful of players lost in the previous round, they're going to have a very decent buy. Full utility in the hands of everybody except for Captain and Bald. And a Trap Ebo, he's starting to starting to heat up right now. He's going to take out Connors, has been the main fragger for the side of Neckbeard Gaming. Trap Ebo is going to get flashed off. As was Goat, but he was flashed a little bit earlier. Magnet Shock has no cares, though. Takes out the first frag. Captain's gonna answer right back. Trap Kibo gets up one, but aesthetic. Oh, there's just too much to keep up with right now. It's suddenly a 1v2 for. Oh, God, Crawfish. But Misfits and Shitheads. For the first time this map, they're gonna string two rounds together to bring this to a 3 and 12 half. They've got a lot to live up to right now, as they're gonna have to pull off a small miracle on the CT side if they wanna. Put Neckbeard Gaming out of this match. Oof. This has been kind of hard to watch. We'll see. Yeah, definitely take the time and have time to talk some things over. Figure out who's going to be on what positions and what should be done with the first buy because they've got to make it happen immediately. So if they don't pick up that first round on the CT side, it's just easily going to look like a 14-3. For the side of Neckbeard Gaming. We're really milking this halftime. Usually we see teams go right back into it. Maybe take a minute or two. Quick bathroom breaks and all that. And God knows I would like one of those right now. But the match is going to be restarting. As I say that, let's see what kind of buy comes up for Misfits and Shitheads. Proto picks up the first armor. Grenade and defusal kit in the hands of Bald. A couple more armors picked up on Trap, Kibo, and Goat. Meanwhile, on the side of Neckbeard Gaming, a couple armors. Aesthetic looks like he's going to be the support player right now with two flashes into smoke. Actually going to be a split. Three players over towards the B site, two over to the sides of Long A, and uh, Misfits and Shit has actually piling in two players over towards Catwalk. They're going to get aggressive, and Proto decides not to do that, as I believe a grenade was spotted by Bald. They're going to smoke off CT. SFX spots the player, tags him out. Ooh! Quick double tap to the head. That's what he needed right there. Aesthetic 
Spots the player in boost, gonna put him down. One was taken out on the side of Neckbeard Gaming. But that is gonna be it. 3v4 retake. No defusal kit now. I, I don't know where Ball dropped that, but they need to pick that up desperately if they're gonna stand a chance on this. And that rotation uh, is gonna be the wrong one. As that beautiful little split by Neckbeard Gaming, Balm wasn't there at all. Was not spotted and was not there. Aesthetic is lurking over here in CT spawn. He's gonna punish Go for not checking that. Aesthetic is gonna put off one more player. The trap Kibo is gonna get one frag on to Aesthetic, but that's not gonna be anything more than the consolation kill. He does pick himself up a second, however. Magnet Shock is spotted out. But at this point, the bomb has been planted, and he does pick up the defusal kit, but he can't get there in time. Magnet Shock chasing him down, peeks around the corner of the box, and looks like he wants to go for a knife right now, but that's not going to happen, Trap Kibo. Magnet Shock puts two right in his face with that little burst fire. Neckbeard Gaming, 13-3. to three. Doors are closing on misfits and shitheads right now. Typical buy by Neckbeard Gaming. Pick up that early scout. Two UMPs and two AKs. SFX cannot land that first shot through the wall, nor the second. The rest of those players are going to be splitting themselves up. As actually, Goat's going to get aggressive. Spots out a player with a, weapon, or a knife drawn. Tags him up heavily. Can he just get one more bullet, please? Just one more bullet. Trap Kibo's going to come in and put that down for him. Meanwhile, the rest of these players over on the side of Neckbeard Gaming are going to be piling in through Catwalk right now. Crawfish gets the opening kill. And there's nobody else here to defend this. Bald is up close on long A, but uh, he's going to go down to his e-corners. He's checking his corners, checking down ramp. He's going to hold himself down there. It's going to be a 3v2 retake. Trap Kibo picked himself up an UMP and it looks like they're just gonna try and save this going to the next round goat and captain both have armor that they could save and they're gonna be playing for close to overtime as Neckbeard Gaming is gonna get a free round and it's gonna put them to 14 and 3 Trap Kibo Kind of hoping for some exit frags here, but all the players on Neckbeard Gaming, they're going to be holding over towards ramp. No need to throw away any weapons at this point. One of those submachine guns are going to get upgraded. Looks like Magnet Shock is going to hold onto this UMP for the time being. And Misfits and Shitheads actually not buying much more into this round. A P250 was purchased, and that was it. SFX still can't tag that player as he crosses. But we do have two players pushing in fast from Catwalk. Nobody's home. They do spot out the flash. They did not hear that player as Crawfish. He's going to get one. Make that two. Punish that early aggression. So suddenly again, 3v5 retake. Well, not quite a retake yet, but player advantage anyways. Crawfish, why not? Gets a triple kill. Bomb's going to come over towards Long. Bald is spotted out trying to rotate, and so is Trap Kibo. Both those players going down. No players lost for Neckbeard Gaming. Misfits and Shitheads were saving most of their money now, and they're going to have to play for overtime if they're going to want to make anything happen out of this match. Four M4s, one AWP. AKs across the board, Neckbeard Gaming upgrading as they've got this victory pretty sure in their hands, and Trap Kibo. He's going to put man advantage in the hands of misfits and shitheads for the first time in many rounds, but meanwhile, we've got four players, five players actually, had gone in, but Captain shut that down quick, but it's answer back as Magnet Shock and Aesthetic picked them both up one. 2v3, Bomb is going to be planted right now, Aesthetic putting that down, Ball's going to push through the smoke as he pop flashes himself through, but he's, I think he's stuck on the door right now, no, 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 he's just waiting. He's waiting for that rotation very smartly, as Goat's going to be pushing up through B-Halls. Spots up the shoulder, but now Magnet Shock knows. Oh, he can get the frag! Somehow, Misfits and Shitheads on the back of that shoddy little buy with light utility. They're going to keep themselves in this. Narrowing this large gap. 4 to 15. They're going to pick up two AKs, though. Those will be very handy going to the next round. And Neckbeard Gaming with the... Uh, they had to drop one AK over for another teammate, but... They can rebuy right in this, and why not? You've got rounds to spare. And full utility on four of those players. I think SFX was dropping AK. Yeah, it's there on the ground. He's going to pick that up. 
So no AWP, but really you don't need it. They're going to do a 2-3 split over here. They're lining up an Xbox smoke right now. One player is actually going in fast. That was uh, Aesthetic who got caught out by Trap Kibo. He's actually looking pretty strong in this long A site. So they're going to back off that. Xbox smoke is going to be for nothing. They're going to back on these players over on the T side. Through to E-spawn. And slow play the bomb over there at mid while they look for any more aggression. Maybe an opening frag for their side. Let me talk things out and decide what they're going to do. Three, plower, three players over there on long. And uh, one spotted on mid. Connor's in... I think that was Trap Kibo. Yep. They're going to change a little bit of damage. Smoke off on CT. They're going to flash. They bang themselves in. SFX has a molly out in hand. Not what he wants right now. Doesn't spot the player behind him as they're peeking through that smoke. But it does look like one of these T players are going to back off. The jumping AM4 shot. What is, what is fucking Auto Director doing right now? Like, seriously. There is this weird glitch with Auto Director now where it goes into third person mode. And it just, like, sits there. Ah. Anyways. 2v4. Bomb has been planted. This player has been spotted up behind box. Crawfish spots the player coming out their window. Please, Auto Director, just work with me here. Goat's gonna answer right back. 1v2 now for Crawfish. Spots the player out. Make that 1v1 for match point. Crawfish with a quick little toot tap. And they're gonna win this 16 to, I believe, 4. As the ESEA client is not gonna be kind to me and tell me the score after the match. And God help me if I can remember match points from a you know 30 seconds ago but that will be it damn good work i'm looking forward to see more of t connor's i'm gonna try and watch neckbeard gaming in the future because i, I want to see t connor's play more the awp looking strong in his hands but that will be it for me for today i'd like to thank you all for watching in chat and uh, thank you anyone who's going to be watching the vods if you're in chat right now, these will be uploaded in the next half hour to 45 minutes, depending on YouTube. And uh, that is it. So take care, everyone. Look forward to seeing you in the future. I will be back tomorrow.